Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes. In this video, we'll look at how to make selections in Dorico and how to use your computer keyboards to navigate around your music. There are lots of tips and tricks to show here, so let's get started. When you click a musical item in the score, it turns orange to indicate it is selected. If the item is a note, that note is auditioned using the assigned sound for the instrument. Use the arrow keys to navigate between notes. The left and right arrow keys will navigate horizontally through notes and rests in the current voice. The up and down arrow keys navigate vertically, first through any and all notes of a chord, then notes in other voices if present, and then to notes on the next staff, and so on. This way, you can navigate to any note or rest in any voice, in any bar, on any staff, simply by using the arrow keys. As you navigate using the arrow keys, the view will move to keep the selected note visible. Add Control, that's Command on Mac, to move in larger steps. So when moving left and right, you'll navigate a bar at a time. When moving up and down, you can jump directly to the top or bottom staff. If you hold down Shift while using the arrow keys, you will extend your selection in that direction. You can extend a selection both horizontally, using the Shift and the left and right arrow keys, and vertically, using Shift and the up and down arrow keys. As soon as you extend a selection horizontally, it encompasses all voices and types of music item on that staff. Once you've extended your selection in one direction, keep holding down Shift, and you can then extend it in another direction. Holding Control or Command as well as Shift extends a horizontal selection one bar at a time, and a vertical selection from that staff to the top or bottom of the system. No matter what you have selected, you can deselect everything by clicking an empty part of the page or by using the Edit Select None command, invoked more quickly by pressing Ctrl D. That's Command D on Mac. In order to navigate onto a music item that isn't a note, press Tab. This will cycle between all types of music item on the staff at that rhythmic position. Once a particular type of music item is selected, such as an immediate dynamic or a slur, the left and right arrow keys will navigate to other items of the same type. And this makes it easy to, say, jump between different time signatures or rehearsal marks. In engrave mode, the arrow keys alone will navigate between all types of music item, indeed fragments of notes, such as note heads, stems and beams. As in this mode, you will be editing the graphical appearance and placement of items, rather than their semantic musical meaning. Back in right mode, let's have a look at making selections with the help of the mouse. You can quickly select all notes in a chord by clicking its stem, and you can select a series of beams notes by clicking the beam. Select all notes and music items in a bar by clicking on an empty part of that bar. You can extend a selection by holding down Shift and clicking a music item, selecting everything between those two points. And this can be to an item on any staff at any point in the music. Control clicking items, that's command clicking on Mac, will add those specific items to the existing selection. Control or command clicking items already selected will remove them from the selection. If you click and drag from a point outside a staff, you can draw a marquee around items to select them. This can be a very effective way of making larger selections of music. And you can add to your selection by holding down Control or Command and drawing a new marquee. One of my all-time favourite Dorico features is Select More, which works exactly as it sounds. It will select more of whatever you have selected already. The key command is Control shift a that's Command-Shift-A on Mac. Here I have a note in the upstem voice selected. Invoking Select More selects all notes in the bar for that voice. Invoking Select More again selects all notes in that voice across the whole system. Select More a third time and all notes are selected in that upstem voice across the entire flow. This works for all types of music item. Slurs. Dynamics, lyrics, specific ornaments and playing techniques. Even system items such as rehearsal marks and tempo markings. It's a super easy way to select exactly what you need 
in next to no time. There are also commands to select to end of system and select to the end of the flow that apply to the staves in the current selection. Select everything in the current flow by typing Control A, Command A on Mac to select all. Selections and clearing selections are undoable, which is very useful if you mistakenly click away from the music, as it means you have to type only Control Z, and that's Command Z on Mac, to reinstate your selection. There are a few tools for moving the view of your music without changing your selection. By default, dragging your mouse across the page will draw a marquee, but you can change this behavior by enabling the hand tool on the status bar. Now dragging on a blank part of the page will move the view instead. You're still able to select and input notes with the hand tool active. Whether you favor the marquee tool or the hand tool, you can temporarily reverse the behavior by holding shift. The home and end keys will move your view of the music left and right, and the page up and down keys will, conveniently, move the page view up and down. In the edit menu, there are various commands for jumping to specific flows, bars, pages, and rehearsal marks. You can also use the jump bar to quickly navigate to anywhere in your project. Type J to invoke the jump bar and switch to Go To. You can do this with the keyboard by pressing Alt-G on Windows or Control 2 on Mac. Now, type the location you wish to jump to, such as B23 for Bar 23, F2 for Flow 2, even F3 B16 for Bar 16 of Flow 3. You can jump to specific rehearsal marks by typing R and the relevant letter. Also, in setup mode, selecting a flow in the flows panel will jump the music view to the start of that flow. You can select a note in the full score and type W to jump to that note in the corresponding part layout. And of course, this works the other way around as well. A couple of things to be aware of. Notations are created at the start of the current selection. So no matter what you have selected, music items will be created at its initial rhythmic position. If you're inputting notations with a duration, such as hairpins or gradual tempo markings, these will be created to cover the length of your selection. Remember that when you select a tide note, all notes in the tide chain are selected, which may then influence the placement of newly created music items. Sometimes you may see certain music items displayed using this blue color. This indicates that the item is in some way linked to the notation you have selected. For example, selecting one item in a dynamic group shows the rest of the group in blue. Linked slurs and dynamics will also draw in blue, and so on. I shall cover grouped dynamics and linked dynamics and slurs as part of the series on notations. Dorico has a comprehensive system of filters that can be applied to any selection. You can choose to filter by any type of notation and you can filter notes by voice, or position in chords, and so on. When using filters, you can choose to leave only the specified item type selected, or remove that type from the selection. And these all work very well using the jump bar. Finally, we've been talking about the music view. However, many of these concepts apply also to the key editor, especially the piano roll. Working with the key editor will be explored fully in other videos. And that's making selections and navigating your music in Dorico. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.